Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Creative Market step by step, which is one of the best platforms for finding and selling the design assets like fonts, templates, or graphics. So we will be exploring how you can set up your account here, how you can download the digital items and even sell your own creative work. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Now, if you want to try creative markets for yourself, you can just use the affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on the latest offer. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, you need to come here on the official website of creativemarkets.com. So once you are here, you will see this type of banner and these type of products here. So as I've told you earlier, Creative Market is an online marketplace for digital design assets, including the fonts, templates, illustrations, Lightroom presents and more. It is basically built for designers, creators and small business owners who want high quality digital resources without any subscriptions or complicated licenses. You can also buy the assets for your own use and you can sell your own digital products to the millions of buyers around the world. So here creating your account is also very simple and straightforward. Instead of this profile icon here, you will see the option of creating account. So you can sign up here with the help of your email address and you are done with the sign up. So once you have done that, uh, you are going to see this type of categories tabs here on the top. You can also click on the option of categories and you can basically select the filter and you can filter out the home page with the help of it. Now here you are going to see a bunch of different fonts and the styles that you have selected. Since I have selected graphics, it is going to show me a bunch of different popular relevant graphic styles. So if you want to explore more, you just have to click on the option of explore right next to that section and you will be landed here on this page. Here too, you are going to see a bunch of different options based on your niche. So for example, if you are looking for the graphics in the animal niche, you can just simply select the option of animal and take a look at these graphics. Now in whichever graphic you are interested, you just have to add them here in your cart. After that, you just have to select whether you want to purchase only one item or if you want to select more. Here it is also going to show you the license of the creative that you have selected here. After that, click on the option of checkout, select your preferable payment method and make the payment. So this was the step of buying any of the creatives from the creative market. Now let's just understand how you can basically start selling on creative markets. So here on the top, you are going to see the option of open a shop. So when you click on this option, it is going to again show you open a shop option. So you need to simply click on it. Now here it will show you how you can start selling your products here and how you are going to get paid. So you need to fill out this particular ownership application. It includes providing your first name, then your last name then selecting the category in which you want to mainly sell your products. After that, you just have to share your portfolio. It can be any of your portfolio, basically either on Behance, Dribble or on your own website. So you just have to provide that and click on the option of uh, do you already sell digital assets online? So if you do, you can select yes. So if you select yes, you need to provide further details about it. But if you don't simply select the option of no, then click on the option of next in order to move forward to the second step over here. Simply select the option of which option best describes your motivations for selling the products on creative market. So among the given options, simply select the one that suits you the best. For example, I have selected these questions or these answers to the questions that I have been asked. So here you need to agree to the terms and conditions and click on the option of submit. Now in the final step, you will have to verify your email address. Now, once your email address is verified, your application will be submitted. So you just have to wait for some time until you get approved. Yes, you heard that right. They have their approval process. 
so once they approve your work only then you will be able to start selling here on creator markets so after the successful approval you can hover over to your profile then you can go to your shop and start selling your products by uploading them here on your shop so creative markets is going to then handle all of the hostings the payments and the delivery you just have to focus on creating different different styles now here let me just show you how you can explore the free downloads section so if you click on the option of free downloads you will be able to download this canva youtube channel kit absolutely for free similarly you are going to see bunch of different items which you can download absolutely for free or as low as 10 dollars so in this free download gallery you can just click on any of the designs in which you are interested then you can click on the option of download you can also click on the profile of the artists available here and you can follow them in order to get to know more of their designs now here if you click on the option of your profile in the top right hand corner of the screen you will be able to see all of your past purchases then you can just take a look at your own collections basically this is going to be your profile where you can see all of your activity your likes your collections and you can also tell something about yourself then you can edit your profile by clicking on this edit profile setting then you can authorize the device you can verify your email address and start uploading your profile picture adding some of the descriptions as well now you need to understand some of the licensing and the support uh, terms as well like every product on the creative market comes with a clear license it can be either personal commercial or extended commercial the license determines how you can use the item for example whether it is for the one project or multiple client designs you can al always check the details before purchasing as i've shown you in the beginning of this video the item that i've added in the cart it has the personal license only so if you want to use any of the items from the creative markets for commercial you need to double check the license available here now if you need any kind of support their support uh, system is also very solid you can contact to them anytime or you can also hover over to the faqs section in order to check most of the articles available there to solve your problems so here is how you can start using creative market to discover to buy and even sell your own design assets online it is quite simple professional and a great platform for both creative professionals and beginners who are looking for the high quality resources so if you have found this video helpful make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of our future designs and productivity guides thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one